can't argue with that. Okay, Jack. Let's see what we have. Status report. Status, green. All systems nominal. Well, that's good news. But what about our anomaly? Where is it? Hera, display the anomaly's current location. Acknowledged. Ah, there we go. Wait, hang on. Hera, is this image to scale? Affirmative. So the anomaly has increased in size. Not a good sign. Let's get a closer look. Liv, is your own EVA suit operational? I don't see it here. It's in the workshop. I was giving it a tune-up. Why? You think I'll need it? The probability of that outcome is unknown, but we should prepare for every eventuality. Fair enough. Okay. Hmm. Curious. I can't make head nor tail out of any of this data. What about you? The data appears to have been corrupted somehow. It's the same for all the readings. Spectrometer, interferometer, LIDAR, all rubbish. Interference from the anomaly must be disrupting the transmission signal. So, our sensor network is useless. What now? I'll exit the station and investigate the anomaly up close. Absolutely not. If I use my scanner, I can bypass the sensor network. I'll be able to examine the data in real time. We've seen what that thing can do to your systems. What if you get shut down out there? I'm specifically designed for operation in hazardous environments. It only makes sense. Besides, we need to determine the nature of this anomaly. And I suggest we do so quickly. Okay. Okay, well... No sense wasting any more time, then. Let's get you into the airlock. Sharpish. Caution. Airlock opening. If you're going out there, you'll need an EVA rig. There should be some inside the airlock. Just take one off the rack. You'll need to secure the rig to your back. EVA rig secured. Initializing advanced movement systems. Stand by for calibration. Module M-201. Primary boosters. Your EVA pack allows you to boost forward in the direction you are looking. When you are ready, please exit the activation pod and use your EVA boost to reach the console ahead. Well done. Please press the hollow button to continue. Now boost to the end of the hall before the walls close in on you. Multiple boosts may be required. Excellent. 
Module M-116, Breaking Thrusters. This module will calibrate your braking thrusters, which allow you to stop in place without grabbing any surface. Please exit the activation pod and proceed to the room ahead. There are two target zones in the next room. Please boost into one of the zones and use your braking thrusters to come to a full stop. Success. Now, use your braking thrusters to stop inside target zone B. Come to a full stop in zone A to complete the calibration module. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. EVA rig fully functional. Ready to disembark. Copy. Airlock controls unlocked. Pull down on the handle to close the inner door. Once the inner door is sealed, you're clear to cycle the airlock. Inner bulkhead sealed. I need to depressurize the airlock before I can exit. The control should be just below the handle. Once the airlock is cycled, head outside and make your way to the anomaly. Get a scan if possible, but... Don't put yourself at any unnecessary risk. Understood. I'm going back up to the bridge. I can keep a better eye on your status from there. Keep this comm channel open. Maintain constant contact. Copy that. Depressurization complete. Yes. Ready for EVA departure. Be careful out there. I'm always careful. You know what I mean. Exiting port side airlock. Copy. There should be a Fury transport dock just outside the airlock. Should take you straight to the anomaly. You'll need to run a diagnostic check before you can take off. Understood. Prep for RCS thruster calibration. Please hold on to the railing for the duration of the test flight. Initiating RCS thruster test in three, two, one. RCS thruster check complete. Proceeding to primary thruster calibration. Reminder, 
Please hold on to the railing. Igniting primary thrusters. In three, two, one. Fury transport calibration complete. Liv, the Fury transport is set for flight. Great. Coordinates have already been uploaded to the NAVCOM. Just touch the marked location on the hollow map and you'll be on your way. I'll monitor you from the bridge. Good luck. Select your destination. I'm underway. Distance to anomaly, 4,800 meters. Copy that. I have a visual on your transport. 3,500 meters. 2,000 meters. Steady as she goes. Godspeed. Look at that thing. Just incredible. The Fury is malfunctioning. I have no control. I'm drifting toward the anomaly. Remote link's been severed. I can't reboot the transport. Jack, the Fury has completely dropped off my scope. Total loss of signal. It, it's just... it's gone. On approach, I noticed the anomaly was pulling the surrounding debris into its center. You think the anomaly is housing some kind of singularity? That would be consistent with my observations, yes. Needless to say, I doubt we'll be seeing that Fury transport again. Okay. Well, so much for scanning the anomaly up close. Jack, why are you at the depleted dig site? I appreciate the enthusiasm, but we're not ready to scan you. We need to finish repairing the rest of the facility first. I think those disturbances might actually be electromagnetic pulses. You might not be able to scan the anomaly up close, but I think we can reconfigure a geological sensor to do the trick. How so? Well, if we can use it to read fluctuations in the magnetic field, we should be able to get a look inside. There's just one, well, several problems. Go on. We've got failures all over the facility. For this plan to work, we'll first need to clear up some problems in the container field, the primary dig site, and the processor. Send the details to my arm computer. Done. Let me know when you arrive at the sites. Select your destination. Destination. Communication satellite D4. Preparing for thruster ignition. Please hold on. I'm not reading a signal from ComSat D4. Hera, run a diagnostic on satellite D4. Scanning. Satellite offline. Solar panels are operational, but their current wattage is at 5% of their effective PTC rating. Hmm, interference from the anomaly, I suspect. It should have a backup battery for these situations, though. I'll open the maintenance hatch and take a look.
the satellite's maintenance hatch. I should open it up and check its backup power supply. Hatch open, checking the battery. This battery is drained. I'll need to recharge or replace it on the Fury Transport. Battery in place. Hera, status update. Satellite D4 is still offline. Strange. Have you tried turning it off and on again? That would probably work, actually. Usually does. You should be able to cycle the power at the emergency control panel, near the top of the array. The emergency control panel. I'll need to cut through before I can access it. Satellite D4 online. Systems nominal. Nice job. I'm getting a strong signal. It may actually help us get a better reading on the anomaly. Did you know that beforehand, Jack? Not really. I just wanted to fix it. Just can't help yourself, can you? There is nothing wrong with wanting a clean and functional work environment. Thank you. 
Athena, bring up the next candidate, please. Echo program candidate number 37. Lieutenant Rhodes, Olivia J. Ah, now this one's promising. Accepted into the U.S. and Aerospace Academy at 16. Exemplary marks in engineering, geology, robotics. <laughs> the elite stuff. All the versatility you could want in an astronaut. The USN even approached her for the five years initiative, but she declined. And I'm not interested in leaving the solar system, I guess. And a psych profile. She's right on the money. Took some prying, but the interviewer got her to open up about her family. The younger brother, Jackson. You could tell they were close. Probably had to look after him a lot with two scientists for parents. That's just what we need for Echo One. She's perfect.